this game. But Yoshi craps on DDD, dude. I'm sorry? Yoshi absolutely craps on DDD. I don't know how to feel about this campaign. Does he not like, does he not like the Peach Yoshi matchup? I mean, if you, don't like, Peach, if you don't like Yoshi, play a sortie. Yeah, this is almost, I mean, okay, you, I, don't, I don't think that Link necessarily knows how to, pick, like, has a super reliable sortie that he can just pick. But uh, this matchup is, it's rough for DDD. First of all, Gordos get just smacked back by eggs yep. instantly. Also, DDD's a big boy body, and you know what happens to big boy bodies against Yoshi? Combos. All right, I'm talking about how this matchup is unwinnable. I, in some respects, I think it is. Uh, and <laughs> Ling Ling is showing me that I am a fool. All you have to do is just massively outplay your opponent, and that's what's happening right now. Miles wasn't ready for this. He wasn't ready he for was this at all. not ready at all. Why is DDD putting in work right now? <laughs> Yeah, this is the sort of matchup where if Yoshi decides to camp, play super patient, not approach when he doesn't need to, uh, it can be awful for the DDD. But Miles, not really that kind of Yoshi. He might end up uh, sort of resorting to that kind of play if uh, Ling Ling's DDD here turns out to be yeah, a really, really good. Oh. Yeah, he's missing the ledge. He drifted back just a little bit too much. Kind of a sigh of relief off of... Uh off of my shoulders right now. Yeah, no, that's the one thing about this matchup is that killing DDD is really hard. A lot of the times Yoshi likes to kill off the top and DDD is the hardest character to kill off of the top. Oh, 100%. Character don't want to Well, like 175% is <laughs> when you're going to be killing him. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here all week. I'm not actually here all week. <laughs> I'm going to be here again next week. All right, Miles does seem to be adapting to this DDD a little bit better, starting to recognize where he needs to position himself to avoid those, uh, honestly, pretty generous DDD hitboxes. <gasps> Into the town here! Yeah, that's another thing. You can just throw out eggs. And DDD is such a large hitbox uh, that if one of them connects, you can just oh, oh, very reliably combo it into a... That uh, forward smash, that must have been like a a pathetic little noodle hitbox of it. Why did he survive that so easily at like one in like, like 80? I, I, I don't even know, man. It wasn't the slam. The slam part of that was, oh, that's where the bread comes from. I want a dash attack. I think that dash attack would have killed too. Oh, getting solid damage right there. Losing not to grab. Well, no, I think it makes a lot of sense. Uh, that is one of the weaknesses about DDD. He, doesn't, he has good aerials that can kill, but his grab game in that regard is a little bit lacking. Lower percents, they can get some nice combos, but he's not really going to be killing off of grabs that reliably. Which also, I think generally, heavies that don't have a way to kill off of grab, that's just sad. It is kind of like upsetting. Miles with the right read, but just like, let, pull the trigger on it way too early. Yeah, DDD forward air has surprisingly low knockback, meaning that uh, Yoshi can armor it at relatively late percents, and that should be it. Yep. Wow. Honestly, though, close game. Really Very close, close game. game, and I was upset that it was, that it was the DD that it made this a close game. But then again, Ling Ling, Ling Ling is amazing. Ling Ling is amazing. So I'm not going to doubt any, any character that he decides to throw into the fray. Do you think he's going to stick with the DDD? Because honestly... I don't necessarily think it was the bad, a bad call. However, okay, now he just okay, tried yeah, it yeah. out. If he had gotten the win, that would have meant something. But mm -hmm. switching back to the peach. Three, what he needs. One, go. He can definitely do this with the peach too. It just, it's just hard. You gotta do everything in your power just to keep Yoshi out of the skies. His hitboxes are just as big as yours, if not bigger, a little bit safer. It's hard, man. All right, so far this game is starting off pretty even. Oh, but this is something we saw in the first set between them. 
that one thing is that Miles went for a lot of grabs. Like a surprising amount of grabs considering the fact mm -hmm. that, generally speaking, Yoshi doesn't get a lot of eyes. He found the sweet spot on that forward air while going way off stage. Jesus, <laughs> man, you just... You can't give him any opportunity. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That's yeah, he really broke. turned it around just from that. Well, the thing is, the stitch broke the armor <laughs> and did all of that damage. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Your luck is on Lilin's side. Somebody wants, somebody is, wants to, to. Sorry, whenever Egg Roll comes out, a heavenly chorus plays. <laughs> and for some reason, it hits. Listen, I like. I'll be honest, myself as a Yoshi player, I've gotten more damage off of Yoshi's egg roll than like half of the moves in his kit. <gasps> Why? <gasps> Why is that <laughs> wow! These edge guards are. <laughs> You're done, son. Never mind. No, no, no. He floated right back yeah, up. He knew not to push that button. 42%. Big damage Christmas. coming out. Yeah, although at the end of it, Miles managed to dodge most of the worst parts. Oh, good air dodge out of the egg. Not only does he avoid that down B, but he also manages to, uh, he tried to footstool him. Smart, smart idea coming out. Honestly, that's always scary. Like, if you're a Yoshi trying to footstool somebody, the, the consequences, the possible consequences mm. are dire. Because if they footstool you, that's, that's, just, that's scary. That's cool. South stage with no jump. Okay, makes it back just fine. I'll throw out a shield. That's not an option I've seen yet from Mile. This is, I'm sorry, this is just really intense right now. Kind of watch Nair out of suit coming out from Ling. Almost do that, but still finds himself on stage. And the up smash. Take it. Nice call out on that forward air. All right, we knew, now do have 1-1. One, one. So far, things being kept pretty even. Hopefully that DDD pick at the ferry for game one uh, doesn't come back to bite Ling Lang. Mm -hmm. But we'll see how it goes. These two have played, they've gone to game 10 in grand finals before. I'm not sure that's something we're going to see here this time around. But, I kind of hope not. But every time, every time I hope not for game 10, we get a game 10. Yeah. Also, I just want to say, you know, how we, you know that what makes a Yoshi player really good? What? Uh, if they're able to main any of the uh, Yoshi colors. Ooh. Pathetic Yoshis. Little baby Yoshi players have to commit to a single color. <laughs> I'm only saying that because now he's playing my color. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of bias on there, isn't it? A little bit of damage. <gasps> Damn, look at that fan state. <laughs> Better be careful. <laughs> like, I love watching Yoshi go mad deep for these edge guards. That was a beautiful stock. I love seeing Yoshi go mad deep in the edge guard, but I cannot help but get so scared. What if you get knocked? What if you get gimped? Just touched one time out of yeah. your jump. Like, I know you have armor still, but it's like, it's still a risk. Yeah, I mean, there are some moves that break armor really early. Uh, and if you are ever so uh, careless as to throw out any move, keep in mind that as soon as you hit a butt, uh, that armor will dissipate. Even air dodge. So, like, if you air dodge, there's about, like, if Paradox comes out frame three, there's about two frames where you can get your armor broken. Yeah. I wouldn't be air dodging because you'll see that low. Oh, still nice. able to get these combos! <laughs> Staying in. On him like a white on rice. Made it made Lingling go through the obstacle course just to land, man. And then neither of them wanted to choose an option to go in. Neither of them wanted to commit. Why? Oh, looking for a roll read of some kind. I feel like... Or perhaps, I think it was actually an anti-air option. Yeah, because, like, usually when Ling Ling is, like, like, pacing back and forth like that, he just sneaks in the forward air. I'm not trying, trying to sneak in an upper air to try and land that stock with that dash attack. Yeah, still living, though. And, uh, man, even at that late, late percent, he's still armoring through it. 
He's trying to, at this point, Ling Ling needs to clean up the stock, and he's not even going to get the chance to. Mm -hmm. 183 on Mile, and he's just sitting pretty right now. Back are going to do it? No. Without any rage, it's not going to be enough. And he's still, you see the micro spacing. He jumps up and just barely drifts back. <gasps> that could be huge. How is he dodging all of these attacks? Ultra Instinct? He's still alive, grabs the turn it, but the fully just goes right through it. That was good. That was good just to get, just to uh, pick an option to get right out of it, man. That was good. All right, but 69% already dished out onto Ling Ling. You keep it up, I did it! I did it! And just a crack of the knuckles. He don't miss! Woo boy! He don't Miss Connor Boy Kobe. Woo! And Miles is just getting so much better. His, his, his punish game is so good. His neutral has gotten fantastic. And this is why he's in Grand Finals Winner's Side one game away one from taking the game. entire tournament. Ling Ling forced to swap again? Me Sword Spider? Me Sword Spider? Don't do that to me. <laughs> I think he's. Thinking, I think this thinking. is just a. This is a detour. I think he's gonna go back to Peach. Probably just thinking a bit like what he needs to do. Yeah. What adjustments can we make? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, Ling. <laughs> what adjustments? Have you didn't get made? me. He didn't. He didn't catch me. So <laughs> I'm holding over Pyramidal. I'm just like, huh? One, go. Going back to PS2. I. Honestly, I don't know how to feel about that. Mm -mm. Not the stage, and as soon as we hop back on, the mouth throws 76 right into his face. Yeah. Not even 20 seconds, boy. Oh, okay, yeah. That, so I believe that up smash can cover the entire platform, but right there, he missed space just a little bit, and that's he's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Man, Wild, what are you doing? This is insanity. Putting the rain boots in his face. My goodness gracious. <laughs> All into his face. And the micro spacing continues. Just, I, he, when I tell you he doesn't miss, he don't miss, man. Don't miss with the spacing, don't miss with the eggs. Going for the down air. Not down air, the foot. That was a four there, but like, sheesh. Oh, man. And Miles not, he hasn't even been touched, really. He's at 75%, and Ling Ling's already been taken 80. He's been lapped. But egg again? Uh, Ling Ling's trying super hard to land, man. Okay, finally breaks the armor right there. Early on, we've seen that. When that happens, Ling Ling can close out the edge guard, but it seems that lately he has not been able to. Forward air at that corner will be enough, but mm -hmm. he's already on 36. Oh. Now the question is, can he make use of his race? Lance, some sick combo. No, he cannot. He got his hand snatched up by that tail. And Miles still has the same fire in him. Bro, he's looking so poised just to take this home right now. We got Link combo, but no. You, oh, you you can double jump right out of that? Ah. Uh, you heard it here first, folks. My goodness. All right, forward to pushing him off stage. Zingling got a lot of fight left in him. That was a sick head guard idea. Let it go! That forward air gonna take it. Miles taking it. 3-1 over Ling. Dominating fashion. In that last game specifically. Oh, Jesus. boys.